Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. Well, here we are, we're closing out 2019 and getting ready for 2020. And I hope that you're getting ready for some big things for you. Big things is, as far as impact, it might not take actual big things for you to get there. Last week, our assignment was to look at and examine what things bring us joy. And for the first time in these, in these episodes, we're focusing on feelings. How do you feel? Joy is a feeling. What are the situations that bring you joy? And joy can be a combination of feelings in general. So here are some of those that I came up with. Happy, fulfilled, accomplished, satisfied, content, at ease, and my favorite one, free. Did you associate any of those with feeling joyful and just, you know, uh, just to overcome with a great feeling? Now, go back through the exercises that we've had before and where do those feelings pop up and where do they get squashed or stifled or suffocated? I was talking with a coworker a couple weeks ago and she went into a new exercise class and these ladies were talking. It was first of all it was a yoga class and so afterward these ladies were all calm and now they started talking about how a couple of them hadn't been around in some of their other group activities and they just immediately switched off from their calm and happy yoga feeling into this just ball of tension and she said it was so palpable you could almost see it as these ladies were talking about how their job had just been all consuming and they were having to sacrifice their their favorite things to put more time in on their job and that really made an Im impact on her and she came in and was talking to me about how she f always felt good coming into work. So hopefully you can start matching up your feelings about money and your situation with money and how you spend your time and all of the different things that you've tracked so far. You should be able to identify for you where the joy plugs in and where it falls away. And this week, your challenge is to identify those things, match them up, and then make a decision. How do you want to live? As I've said before on this, this is, I do not have an agenda for this series that will continue, if you're new, it's gonna continue all the way through 2020, come back every Sunday. And if you're just joining us, you can go back and look at some past episodes uh, to see what I'm talking about. But my idea is not to direct anybody to make a particular change for ideology or their livelihood or anything. But I really believe if we have more happy people running around in the world, the world becomes a happier place. And I want to help empower you so that you understand when people say it's your life, it belongs to you and it is yours to create however you want, regardless of what anyone has put on you or any other designs or obligations that you have taken on. And in the next few weeks, I'm gonna help you peel away some of those if, if there are challenges for you in some of those areas. But for now, make a decision. Are you happy? Is everything going great? And maybe you are. And if you are, hats off to you. You're doing great. And please share below for us in the comments on how you have achieved that and how you, how you maintain that or increase those great feelings and your happiness in your life. But if you have areas of struggle or challenge, look over this past year. What were your high points? Did you have any low points? Did you have challenges? Were there challenges that you placed upon yourself or that you created or were you paying too much attention to outside influences? Were you measuring yourself against someone else and did that cause you some kind of uh, struggle or problems? 
Make a decision on how you want to live. That's your assignment for this week. We're, we're finishing up one year. It's a good time for reflection and a time to look ahead. And from here on out, I'm going to challenge you to look forward, face forward and look forward. We don't want to borrow from where we've been. We've been there already. And we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but we want to be looking in that direction. And I'll be here with you every step of the way. I'm doing this along with you. And I'm really happy that we're getting to this point so we can make some decisions now. Everything that you will accomplish from here forward is going to depend on these decisions that you make now. And that is what you're going to fall back on. You're not going to be shaming yourself into compliance with what you want. You're going to be making changes that you choose because you are choosing to live a joyful life. So thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for watching. Give, the, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Leave any comments or questions below. It's a great community that we're building here and I, and I value each and every one of you. Subscribe to see these videos and the other ones uh, that are on the channel. We have a variety of things here and they're all organized by playlists. Then if you're in business, you can check out my other channel, which is The Big Brass, and it is strictly about business. And we're going to have a similar challenge for 2020, starting with the creation of your business calendar for the entire year. So come along for the ride. I'm happy to be here with you. And uh, please subscribe and come back and see me next time. Have a great week. Thanks for watching.